So, sometimes, the game just isn't fair. You can start from a very poor scenario, and whatever you do, whatever rework you get, you always be one step behind. And Machamp represents a lot of that, in essence. Machamp is a Pokemon that it really has the chance to really shine. And I feel so bad for it, because it's a personal favorite of mine. I really like Machamp. I think it's an incredible finding type. But it always has been a reason not to use it. Generation 1, it was, in theory, almost the best fighting type. It actually is one of the best Pokemon for use in Submission, which of course have a 25% recall, and Submission is the best fighting type move, which is in its, in its own right kind of rough. Uh, it's still unable to beat Snorax or Blissey, can't Oko them, uh, but it actually is running low kick too, and it, it might as well be just as effective and definitely puts it apart as it does give it some durability, but it had nothing on Polygraph, which was absolutely the best fine type for Generation 1. And going into Generation 2 is where Machamp really got a chance to shine, got in Crush Up and the Curse Set, and it actually was really good. It was definitely the normal buster, if anything. Unfortunately for it, it had plenty of counters, and the Psychic Types wasn't necessarily all that nerfed in the first place, and were just very little reason to use, well, Machamp at all. It still was good, and it has a real viability, but it just wasn't it. And um, Generation 3 got guts, and it actually was a great ability for it, but there were other mods introduced that were definitely better, and all of a sudden we got a different essence of what a fighting type can be, because for the longest time, there have been really no reason to, um, like Primeape and Hitmonlee, of course other Generation 1 was in theory better, but also it had to do with their speed. They were able to get hits in before they have to take one. And now we get more of those type of mods. We had Blaziken and we have Brelum. Brelum had Spore. And really they find itself as absolute best fighting type due to focus punch. Well, meta that was developing. If you want to beat a Blissey, you have to be able to sleep it and then kill it. And Brelum could do that very freely. And Blaziken was just faster and had Sky Uppercat with a solid physical hit for it. Um, it just, it was tough. You even have Medishan, which while slower at, what is it? No, it's actually faster, 80 base speed, and had high jump kick. Yeah, you, you figured. There were very little reason to use Mershamp, even with a very solid ability. It just made no sense of using it. And then comes probably the first real buff for Mershamp Generation 4. We get the No Guard ability, which definitely, definitely made sure that Mershamp got a really stellar anti-meta essence. And I really like that. Um, it, it now did team not have a team preview. Um, could be run with Focus Dash, Dynamic Punch, and Bullet Punch. Be able to beat most leads really solidly, or at least force them to hurt themselves in confusion. That is all right. Like that is a 50-50. Whether or not a Machamp probably beats your best lead, that's a phenomenal trait. And um, while it didn't last it, um, and of course the best fighting types are. Well, now playing a different league, honestly. Um, I did kind of have Brigad Hiriyama, which definitely does the same type of thing as Machamp really are doing. But now in this generation, we got Infernape, which is by far one of the best fighting types ever introduced. Uh, and also gets U-Turn. And Primeape, which of course was a Pokemon that um, was on par in essence, generation 2 to Machamp, was now theoretically a lot better because it could private out and avoid a pretty tough situ scenario and situation and um, you just kind of you had Lucario too like it has a more solid typing speedy it just it started to define that a fighting type if it wanted to be effective it had to be fast and the only way of Machamp of doing that was to go if so for a trick room team but Hariyama was doing that better so there were very little reasons to use Machamp as Hariyama was infinitely slower so it wasn't a weird scenario, and that didn't help with Generation 5. There were no buffs, really, to the fighting type, it really wasn't. But one thing happened, one thing that basically replaced Masham from, <laughs> from here on out. It got a little brother. They call it Congelder. It was doing everything that Masham was doing, but better. 
It had higher HP, higher attack, higher defense. It was slower and had a worse special defense. But due to the higher HP, it was definitely able to soak hits a lot better. And due to it being slower, it could capitalize on Trick Room a lot better. It had abilities, it just was insanely good. Um, quite frankly, you had Sheer Force, we had Iron Fist, and we had Guts. All of them made sense in essence of what it was able to do. Where Iron Fist of course stands out the most because it got two moves that it has over Machamp. And that is Drain Punch and Mock Punch. Two stab based moves, both both boosted by Iron Fist. And Guts, of course, made it just a dangerous mod in overall. Like you 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 figured that this mod could actually be on um, I'm getting itself burned and be able to outmaneuver other Pokemon because while it has residual damage from the burn, its rain punch will do 50% more due to its guts boost. It just was insane. I love that about it, but also made sure that whatever it was doing, Machamp will always do us. <laughs> and going into generation 6, you figured with a Salt Vest, Machamp got a whole new niche. It had the you know the superior special defense, so there would be very more reason to use Machamp with a Salt Vest, right? Almost. But no. Because Rain Punch is just that much better when Assault Vest. You're able to recover yourself and you have to boost a special effects. Conkeldor just cannot blow it out of water. And Conkeldor even moved to UU. It wasn't really that effective. There were a lot of Megas, like Mega Medisham. Like, fighting types, in contrast, were always supposed to be faster, to be effective. I cannot forget about mentioning Terrakion, which of course stands out as just one of the best fighting types there is ever created. Though Conk stomped it easily. Um... But Machamp just couldn't keep up, and in generation, well, in generation seven, nothing happened really. We just they they kind of the only thing that kind of was a boost for them both, for Conk and Machamp, was that the burn damage was nerfed from one eighth to one sixteen. So all of a sudden, they could keep going for it for a longer time. And while Machamp was scary, Hiriyama did pretty much the same role in Trick Room, and so did Conkeldor. So we're just there was no reason for Machamp to ever be relevant in this type of scenarios. And going into Generation Seven with a Dynamax form, here's where I think it, it came to a boiling point for me, because Machamp got a Dynamax form, an individual Dynamax form, which is by the way looking awesome, really, but. The Dynamax move based on fighting types move was a weaker move with night based power, but you got yourself boosted one plus in attack, so you're always hitting harder every time you did it. But he got instead crit rates races for it. He got a focus energy by doing them to his whole team. I would never give up a plus one over the extra critical hit ratio. You do recognize that. One plus the attack means that you're doing that critical hit damage. And they negated that for a critical hit ratio. It's absolutely devastating. It did nothing for Machamp. It, like, if it had gotten, like, Sniper, got a new ability, fine. That would have been tremendous effort to be able to um, capitalize on its Dynamax form, but they didn't. They really didn't. They made it worse. And what makes it even tougher for me to talking about the Generation 8 itself is I forgot about Pokemon Let's Go. People didn't use Machamp there. They didn't. Hitmonlee was great. Mega Medisham was incredible, even though it didn't. Uh, no, not Mega Medisham, sorry. I meant Hitmonlee. <laughs> no, I'm just high jump kick. Hitmonlee was incredible. There was really no reason ever to use Machamp. Because the best Pokemon in the game were Psychic or Flying, and trust me, they were always always going to outspeed Machamp and ruin it. So Machamp never got a proper boost. The only like buff it got was Generation Four. But the thing is here, it was it never got anything to really excel. It wasn't necessarily getting worse, but everything around it got so much better every time that eventually Machamp's viability are based on the power creeps that precedes it, and it falls behind hard. And I feel so bad. Like I said, Machamp is a personal favorite Pokemon of mine, and seeing this de-evolution of them on, it is heartbreaking. Um, this guy got nerfed badly, and I really need something to happen to Machamp soon, because while it is consistent in every game, there are very little reason to ever, ever ever use it because fighting types simply aren't made like that no more 
because it can't work like that. So that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. It's kind of tough talking about Machamp, the fall of the Machamp, really. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed all the same. And I'll see you guys in the next video, or buff or not. That said, take care, everyone.